Okay, so today's math lesson was all about finding distance on a coordinate plane. Except this time, we're checking out ordered, pair, ordered pairs in order to do it. So we need to analyze things a little bit. Now, if I had a coordinate plane, and this kind of helps out a bit if you're struggling, we have our x's and our y's, right? X, uh, x value, y value, and our x axis and our y axis here. So taking a look at this, we have an x for 0, so we're hanging out right on that y-axis, but here I'm at a negative 2, which is down below, and this guy is hanging out up at 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we're going to find the distance on our y-axis, we'll notice that, well, I have 9 from 0, my distance from 0 is 9 over here, and my distance from 0 down here is 2. Now this looks remarkably familiar because, well, if this distance is 2, we're really looking at the absolute value of that y value. So our total distance is going to be that 9, right, that 9 distance here, this particular 9 from 0, and this particular ne negative 2 from 0. So we get 2 over here, so 9 plus 2. 9 from this guy, 2 from this guy, and that gives me 11. Now why am I not dealing with that negative 2 so much, or at least the negative part of that negative 2? Because negative 2 is really talking about a distance of 2 from 0. So here's that negative 2, here's that, that uh, 0, and I need that distance, and that distance just happens to be 2 units. So absolute value kind of comes into play here. So if I have a negative 2y value and I have a 9y value, and they fall on the same axis on opposite sides of 0, I want the distance from 0 for one of those values and the distance from 0 for the other. I add those together and I get the total distance. So symbolically it looks like this. I get 2 because uh, from negative 2 because that's the distance from 0. And on the flip side, on the other side over here, I have a distance of 9 from 0. I add those together and that's my total distance, 11 units. Okay. So that's kind of how it works, but it doesn't work every time just taking absolute value and adding them. And I'll show you that in a second. It does work every time when we're talking about some, uh, two points on the same line segment um, on either side of zero or either side of another axis. But axis, now take this one for example. This one, I have two 11s, but one of them is on the x axis and one of them is on the y axis. So these guys don't even form. Uh, a straight, a, a vertical or a horizontal for me, so I can't even find the distance for this guy, okay? Because 11, 4, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, that's going to wind up over here somewhere, and my 2, 11 is going to wind up up here somewhere, and that is not going to give me a nice horizontal I can measure or a nice vertical I can measure. I mean, I can even measure over here as long as it's vertical. I can even measure here or here as long as it's horizontal. But those diagonals I can't measure just taking a look at those coordinates. So that's no good. And that's why. So let's look at another one. Let's take a look at this guy over here. So here for this guy, I have uh, x values of 3. That'll help me out. Right, right away I know I either have a horizontal or a vertical line. Well, if I have an x value of 3, one, <coughs> two, 3, excuse me, and I have a negative 8, down here perhaps, and I have a negative 1 perhaps over here, notice they're on the same side, they're both below that x-axis. Now, 0 doesn't come into play here, this is just a straight distance from one to the other. Uh, well, if that's true, uh, I'm not caring so much about the absolute value, I suppose. Well, I guess I can. Here's my negative 1 for my y value, here's my negative 8, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, there they are. I just need this distance, and this distance is 8. Oh, excuse me, 7, not 8. What am I doing? This distance is 7, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, how can I use these two values to find 7? Well, all right, let me do that absolute value. Let's do that absolute value. But in this case, it looks like I'm subtracting them. I'm not going to add them. And why subtract? Well, I guess I should be doing, you know, reverse those there. Um, and why, the, why is that 7? And why not add the absolute values like I did before? Well, because this is just, again, straight distance from here 
to here, I'm not, I'm not caring about a distance from zero because zero isn't coming into play at all. I'm starting here, I'm ending here, I'm not on this side at all. If I was, then I would find this distance and then find that distance, but I'm not. Both points are on the same side of zero or same side of an axis, so I wind up subtracting the absolute values in that case to get my, get my distance. Or you can create your own little number line. You can do something like this and say, hey, you know what? I'm starting at negative 1. I'm going to wind up at negative Let me put the 8 there. Negative 1, I'm going to wind up at negative 8. Now, how far do I have to travel? Travel. I need to travel 7 units, OK, to get from one side to the other. And that's how it works, OK? And I know they're on, it's, it's one vertical line because my x values are 3 for each. And there they are. So 3, negative 1, and 3, negative 8, OK? So that's the deal. That's what we did today, just finding straight distance on a vertical line or for a horizontal line using either the coordinates or using a, uh, or drawing it out to make it help, all right, to make it a little easier for you, okay? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.